Today I want to share with you all about Howard Street in Ross Moyne Glendale. Now, Howard begins at the corner of Glen Oaks and Howard, and it travels north past Dryden, past Stalker, and even continues north of Mountain Street for a few houses. In total, there are about 100 houses on Howard Street. Howard is a fabulously convenient location, being just a half mile from Nibley Park and about five blocks from Trader Joe's and the Coffee Bean. And it's literally up the street from my favorite sandwich spot, Glen Oaks Deli, and they make a great pizza too. Now, if you go in, please tell them I said hi. And while it's not actually on Howard Street, if you cross Glen Oaks, you're at Weir Pouring, the local gastro pub, with a great selection of draft beer and a pretty tasty menu too. Now, I remember the first time I went to Weir Pouring with my family. As we approached the parking lot, I thought how strange it was that the parking lot was empty on a Friday night. When we walked in, the restaurant was packed, and I realized everyone walks to Weir Pouring from their homes on Howard Street and around the neighborhood. Now, if you're leaving home, getting to downtown LA will take you about 20 to 25 minutes. Silver Lake is about 15 minutes away and Pasadena is also 15 minutes away. And if you're going to my house, you're only two blocks away. A typical home is a one-story Spanish or English home built in the 1920s. The few homes on Howard Street north of Mountain were built in the 1950s. Recently, the section of Howard that's north of Stalker has been named part of the newest historic district in Glendale called the Bellhurst Slopes Historic District. That will help preserve the architectural integrity of the homes on Howard Street. The average house on Howard is 1,853 square feet. And a good example of an average home is this one, which was 1,826 square feet and sold for $1,555,000. A very spacious two bedroom, two bath with loads of character and a pool. The most expensive house to ever sell on Howard Street was this completely remodeled and reimagined Mediterranean style home that sold for a million eight and was 2,396 square feet. The largest home on Howard is this 3,200 square foot Mediterranean home with four bedrooms, three baths that last sold in 1990. 93. Now it's a beauty and it's worth a pretty penny today. Based on the size and the types of home on Howard Street, the prices range from about a million one for the smallest fixer upper to maybe two and a half million dollars for a beautifully done larger home if it were on the market today. Fun fact about the streets near Howard is they're in alphabetical order. Yep, it starts with Geneva, then you have Howard and Isabel, then Jackson, Kenwood, Louise, and finally Maryland. Now, not all of Glendale's like that, but I thought it was pretty cool when I realized it in Ross Point. So there you go. That's what Howard is like. If you have any questions about it or any other streets or neighborhoods, please reach out. We're happy to help.